watch your babies grow up to be cowboys. This is what the industry's been looking for. We got some people here, the paintings that live out here west of east of town. They've got a ranch out there. They've been doing it right for several generations. We're gonna to try to get them paid for it. There's five points here we're gonna work for. Will got the genomics on him. I want him to talk about what he's did. We're, we're gonna sell the hell out of his cattle. This is what we want in our barn every time. So, Will, you guys, you tested gino the genomics in your calendar. What, what brought you to do that? So we were looking for, um, for heifer retention. We wanted some more data points to select from. Uh, make sure we were getting the best we could get out of our cattle. Um, so this is the first year we've done it. We bought what I think we tested 60 head of heifers and we threw 20 head of steers in there. Um, looking for how they stacked up over the industry bell curve. And, and yours is your, yours is all based on the national average. Yes, everything here, we got a national average, uh, you know, we have a chart of numbers. Yes, all breeds. Um, and the bell curve, we showed uh, the areas that that our cattle are excelling in, um, and ones we've been breeding for, obviously, is weaning weight and yearling weight. Uh, in that, we've picked up uh, uh, quite a potential for carcass weight. Yep. Um, we're well ahead of the bell curve in average daily gain, um, and these cattle they have a low RFI, which. RFI and ADG are gonna, you know, go hand in hand. Um, so we're really proud of that. Uh, ribeye area, something that we, you know, it's a it's a point that, that we look at whenever we're buying bulls and, and it's it's showing up too. Um, so yeah, we're, we're getting- Your marbling scores were off the charts too. Marbling scores are high, yep. Um, the most impressive scores uh, to me, was the hot carcass weights, uh, the low residual feed intake, and the high average daily gain. I mean, these calves, every every ounce that they eat, they do something with it. They do something with it. Yes, sir. Yeah. So we're, we're going to a five-star system on these better cattle. Um, the, the requirements to hit that here, you have to have a closed herd. You have to have the genetics. You have to have a closed herd. You can't have a put together cow, set of cows with a good bull because you don't have the consistency. They've got to have three rounds of shots. They've got to be in load lots. You, you can't, you, at this point in the game, you can't, 14 head doesn't do the next guy any good at this point. Um, they've got to be weaned at least 90 days and they have to have the genomics testing behind them. And this is the next step in the industry. Will and his dad have done a tremendous job of building, without this, have built a tremendous set of cattle. I mean, you could look at their spheres and tell there was a lot of power in these cattle. Now, they've got proof on paper. I mean, this is, this is the next step in the evolution of cattle. We're headed here when the, these cattle have the potential to go, wouldn't you, what do you say, Jeff, 50, at least 50%, I mean, could go 50% prime. Oh, let's go 21st. But, 21st, oh, yeah. but I mean, the, the genetics 20, are. We're speeding that exterior and it's already the prime. Okay. So, yeah, 20% prime feed exterior would be amazing. That, you'd, get, you'd get a lot of return oh, on yes. the back side of this animal. So there's, there's, now this isn't a cheap thing to do, but nothing that's worth doing ever is. Um, Tons of effort put into it. They just didn't wake up and this happened. We need to support these people that are doing it right. Is that, was it, what do you say? It was like $80 a head? No, it was 30 bucks a head. 30, 30 bucks, bucks a head to test these cattle. And, and you uh, tested 80, that's right. And we tested 80 head. Um, and again, it was something, when cattle are worth what they're worth now, 30 bucks ain't a whole lot to figure out, to no. see where you're at, where you stack up. On a $3,000, oh. $2,500 to $3,000 steer, that's, yep. so, this this is the next phase. Um, there will be some more. They're working on some more markers in this now that will even fine tune it more. But th this going through these numbers with Will, it was an eye opener for me. It was that that this was cool. I was pretty cool. And can I see the can, really do can I see the little stat chart that way they can see you what bet. we're talking about? And I'll leave, leave it all. here. Okay. I'm leave it here. And, uh, um, Tuesday at the sale, we're going to have the stat chart. We're going to make copies of it. We're going to hand it out to the folks that are working here. 
We, we, this is what we want. Um, we want to be different than any other barn. Let's get these cattle like this here and let's take care of them. They, these are the cattle that have been undervalued for years. Yeah, the, the front end of the cattle's always been undervalued. Oh, we gave $2.00 more for them and the, the corporate boys bought the others. No, let's get these up where they should be. Yeah. 